Good afternoon traders. It is Friday, July 8th, 2016 and the U.S. stock market is closed. Hey, I think we may have really had a significant day today. This, this would qualify as uh, what I call a turnaround day. It's first turnaround day. <laughs> It's like the first that I can remember, and it's also significant is that I was not trading real cash. But I uh, am not willing to go back into these markets until I see a turnaround day uh, with some follow through. And of course, we don't have the follow through yet. We got to I got to wait till Monday. But um, I think there's a good possibility we might get that. And if we do, I'm going to jump back into this on Tuesday. Uh, of course, I said that last week, too, and got cold feet because of uh, the way the markets went. But uh, I'm, I'm having a different feeling about this today. Uh, I've pulled the chart back here so you can see everything that's happened here with the Dow uh, since the low following the Brexit election. So we're looking at nine days here, and you can see we've had an unbelievable move in the Dow. Normally, I would have expected to make tons of money when it was doing that. We did not make tons of money at all. I was out of the market, but the system just really did lousy until today. And what happened today was, was very significant. Uh, the Dow ended up closing up 250 points, closing near its high. But what's more significant, it just punched right through what I've been calling the iron ceiling. And it kept going and didn't look back. And um, where we are right now, you know, we're actually within striking distance of all-time record highs on the Dow. Uh, and that's just pretty amazing considering all the horrible trading we have had for about 10 weeks. But that is where we are right now. And because this got through this, uh, I'm inclined to believe that maybe, maybe our nightmare might be through. And we're, we're going to, we will see new highs on the Dow, new all time highs, and get some really good trading. That is my hope. What happened today, you know, we had negative almost $16,000 in open trade from yesterday. I was really discouraged yesterday. I just looked at this and thought, you know, this thing just, I wonder, is this thing going to get better? But um, my optimism is really uh, perked today. Uh, but that nearly sixteen thousand dollars in losing trades we was cutting about half you know you would think that since we got into those trades on this hook here from yesterday that if the Dow goes through that and moves much higher we could at least get back to break even no we don't get back to break even we actually ended up closing negative eighty four hundred from what we had yesterday, but we cut those losses in half. That, of course, is good. But what is significant was in this big move we had on the Dow today of 250 points, we got into 22 new positions. You would expect that. 12 of them are positive, 10 are negative. Well, that's about what we would have expected, but uh, the big news is we have nearly $20,000 in open trade equity uh, from the out of these 22 positions, and uh, it it just really looks good. So, knock on wood. I hope you know what we have to have for me to want to get back in these markets is to have follow through on this. If we have one of these days on Monday where you know, we see $20,000 melt down to maybe $5,000 or even negative. I'm, I'm not going to touch it. You know, that's the old, that's the pattern we've been having all along. We need to see follow through. I'd like to see $20,000 ju 
jump to 30, 35,000, then I would know we really have our markets back. Now, by the way, I should mention, we had a great jobs report this morning, and that was what was really driving this. But it drove it up at the beginning, you know, I knew the jobs report from the open, and it kept going, and it closed near its high. I did just very encouraging, very encouraging, I think. Anyway, we had a lot of good trades. I'll show you, uh, I'll show you just one uh, so-so good one. I'm showing you this mainly because we never, I, I, I've never shown this chart before. This is a new market, SRPT, and that's uh, Sarepta Therapeutics. I hope I'm saying that right. Sarepta Therapeutics, we got this right out of the gate this morning, pulled back a little, but then it really started moving in the last half of the day and ended up closing fairly close to its high. We're up over for uh, over $2,000 in Sarepta Therapeutics. But we had two really big ones here. These are, we've traded these before, and this is, you know, this is gold. This is our um, leveraged gold uh, stock, JNUG. And that's a, it's just been going crazy lately. We bought this about midday. It just kept going, going, never looked back, closes near its height. We have $6,000 in open trade in JNUG. And then finally, we got another $6,000 trade here. And this is in Chamour, Chamour's Chemical. Uh, this is an offshoot of DuPont. And uh, again, we bought this, looks at about the third hour, big spike here. Um, these are always a little bit difficult to get into, but it never looked back. Uh, <coughs> pulled back just a little at the end, but as I say, we still have $6,000 plus in Chamours or Chamours. Anyway, uh, great day. I'm hoping that this is signaling a turnaround. Anyway, you guys have a great weekend. This is Trader Bob signing off. I will be back here on Monday.